All right, guys, well, I did not record an intro for this video, but this is gonna be the Battle of I-74, uh, which is just a little derby that we do every year between University of Illinois and Illinois State University. Um, I-74 is the interstate that's between the two colleges. They're about an hour apart, uh, but we do it on Clinton Lake, which is a nice little midpoint between the two schools. Uh, Clinton Lake is a power plant lake, so usually the fishing is a little bit better here because we do it in the fall, so you know the water's colder at other lakes. But actually, today, for this tournament, the plant was not on, so it was kind of just like a regular lake. This is in November, so the water's getting pretty cold here. I believe the water was about a little bit above 50 degrees. Um, but yeah, you can see we started here on the hot water side, and we're just throwing on riprap. That's usually a good choice in the morning because rocks hold heat. Uh, but we didn't really get anything up here. So in a second, I'm gonna fast forward to about three hours into the tournament when we moved down by the dam and started catching fish. Stick around for the rest of the video and consider subscribing if you enjoy. Thanks guys. So the water's actually warmer down here. It's 55. Yeah, give the net. That's a good one. That's a really good one. That's a big one, dude. Hold, hold up. Don't get a call in the net. Hold up. All right, get that. Oh, buddy. Nice. Dude. Yes. That's like a three and a half pounder. I figured this would be better because there's no, I haven't been seeing all the shad on the graph. Whoo, buddy. That's a solid one. That's freaking upper three pounds. Lipless crankbait. Look at that. I know this scale is not super accurate. Now it's saying 2.9. I don't know about that. Because one time in a tournament I caught a, I caught one that this said was like 4.6. And then they weighed it on the official scale. And it was a 5.17. So I know the scale weighs a little bit low, but I still think this is a three pounder. Yeah, that's it's just over 17 and a half inches. That's definitely a three pounder. Woo! Nice. Got one net net. That's a really big one. That's a really big one, dude. That's a really big one. Oh my gosh. I wonder if that's a striper. Oh, shit. No, it's bass. Yes! Nice. <laughs> Let's freaking go, dude. That's like this, that's like the same size. He just freaking, oh, that's fat though. He was just fighting hard. Look at that, that's fat, dude. Look how fat that sucker is. All right. Two really thick ones in the boat already. Cool. Let's go. Got one. That's a dink, don't worry about the net. I think it's a dink. Yeah. Well, we definitely found them. Yeah. It's for dang sure. See a fish. There's one. Oh, he just came off. That was only like a 12 incher. Let's go. Oh, dang, that's a big walleye. You keeping it or what? Yo, June, let me get that on the camera. Look at that guy. 
Or uh, we got two, probably six pounds in live oil right now. What about you guys? Three fish or? Nice. Nice. Oh shoot, let me get, do you need the net or? Okay. Oh. No. Rip. The good news is that wouldn't have kept anyway. So, it, you know, it's not like it's going to make a, well, I mean, you know, you still want a picture, but in terms of, the, yeah, the yeah. In terms of weight, it didn't, do I have one? Get the net. Yeah, I have one. Okay. Yep. I think that that might keep. Come on, please keep. That's going to keep. Oh, maybe not. I got it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's not going to keep. I take it back. I'm pretty thick though for a shorter one. Yeah, that's not gonna keep. That's like, oh, shit. I'm close to the rocks. All right, see you, bass. Here's number one. It's like a 16 and a half, probably two and a half pounds. And there's the big girl, probably three pounder, 17 and a half inch fish. So I take it ISU's winning this one? What's that? Is that so I take it ISU's winning this? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did, I, did I get that right? Uh, this is a small one. Do you want to measure it? or? What do we got? 580. Go 580. I mean, we knew we weren't gonna win. Though. All right, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, letting them go. Here's the smaller one. Solid fish. Here's the big girl, over a three pounder. There she goes. All right, y'all, so that is gonna conclude the battle of I-74, that's what we call it, uh, between Illinois State and University of Illinois. Just a little, uh, little derby we have for fun. There's no money involved or anything. Um, we just do it for fun. You know, we had just a little, little like six boat total tournament. Um, it was pretty fun. Conditions were really weird. They varied from spot to spot. Uh, oh yeah, we're at Clinton Lake by the way, but con conditions were really weird. So like near the launch at the marina, water was really muddy, probably two, three inches of visibility, um, like 51 degrees. Uh, and then you go up towards the hot water side and the water got even muddier and colder strangely so the plant must not have been on but then you go away from the launch down towards the dam where we caught our fish visibility went up to like a foot and the temp was like 54 so i don't know how that makes any sense but it is what it is fish definitely seemed to be biting where the water was a little cleaner uh i don't like fishing that chocolate milk stuff up at the uh the north part of the lake but yeah, it was a good, it was a good little derby. ISU ended up winning. I think they had like two or four more pounds than us, something like that. I think it was four more pounds. So they did win, unfortunate, but you know, it's just a bragging rights tourney. So not like it really matters that much. It was a fun time. And uh, yeah, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all taking the time to view. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see y'all in the next one.